Thank you for watching live and local KWN TV. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. Mike Powers sitting in this afternoon and by no means taking the place of Dr. Jan Harris, who is normally the host here. I wouldn't even think that I could take her place. One extraordinary individual, and I, I, I am by no means on her echelon. I found out yesterday that I was going to have to host. <laughs> When uh, Evan called me uh, today and said, uh, well, if you can just get the first part of the show with uh, with Mr. Engel, uh, he'll take care of the rest. I said, does he know that? <laughs> so, <laughs> she told me last night. Gotcha. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> it's been a busy time uh, here over the last couple of weeks for the schools. Teachers of the year that have been announced. Yes. Uh, you've got the accreditation team yes. that's, uh, that's in doing their business right now. There's a tremendous amount going on right now. Just about a minute before we came on the show, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Harris sent a text and said, can you, can you come to the central office to hear the exit review? And I did not respond <laughs> for obvious reasons. I'm sitting here and I well, can't be there. Well, you know why now. So, that's, that's it. so um, but yeah, the uh, the exit review team came mm -hmm. in there. I think there were uh, uh, there were five, uh, five total team members. Right. Uh, a couple of them from South Carolina and the other three. Uh, from Georgia, one of them being from the Dalton area, so mm -hmm. you know, she was familiar with uh, Northwest Georgia. Sure, uh, and she and all of them been, have been in education for mm -hmm. for uh, quite a while. But when they were um, at our schools, they had nothing but uh, great things to uh, to say. The sure. thing is, you know, in education, um, there's always, and I'm sure in business too, there's always room uh, room for growth. Absolutely. Um, so, we, you know, we've got good things going on. We're excited to hear about that. But we also know that uh, we've got some areas to, to grow in as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll take, uh, take their feedback and right. put some plans in place to, uh, to uh, take, those, take those steps forward sure. uh, one step at a time. That's so. it. In case I didn't mention, this is Josh Engel, by the way. He's principal at Davis Elementary School. And we're always uh, glad to have him on the uh, television program, no matter who's hosting. We're always glad to have him here. So uh, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about this uh, accreditation. That's always an interesting word uh, to talk about when you're talking about school districts. Correct. Uh, that that's a that's a big deal. It is. Uh, you have you have the team, and like you said, they go through the schools. Mm -hmm. They go through they go, they go through the district office. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess they talk with a lot of people. What what is their purpose? When people hear that word accreditation, what does that mean? Well, they um, they go into classrooms mm -hmm. and observe teachers, mm -hmm. uh, and and um, on the there's a lot of work on the front end. Sure, um, there's a lot of documentation uh, that we have to submit, mm -hmm. so they're able to preview uh, that documentation uh, before the actual visit. Sure, and they uh, you know look over that. They have you know they you know make mental notes, mm -hmm. and then once they come in, um, they're reflecting back on the documentation. Mm -hmm. And then reviewing what they uh, see uh, in the classroom. What are and, they looking for? What are they? Um, I mean, I, you, you've been on you've been on both sides of this. I have. What um, what, what, what do they look for? Uh, your processes. Sure. And uh, and that the processes are uh, directly impacting mm -hmm. uh, teaching and learning. Gotcha. Focused on you know the mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know it's everything from your mission and vision statement to uh, teaching and learning in the classroom sure. to um, you know one of the uh, uh, team members came up uh, Monday mm -hmm. and uh, she wanted to know what our dismissal process was like well it, it was about five minutes before time to dismiss <laughs> I said well come on out here yep, and watch. here we go <laughs> so um, so you know and she was focusing on mm -hmm. you know safety right um, and she asked a couple of questions. What do you do if this, or what do you do if that? So, sure. you know, bottom line is student safety. Right. Um, so, you know, they, they look at the processes, make sure they're uh, sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, everything is uh, student centered. Gotcha. That's, they're wanting to ensure, make sure everything is uh, focused on the students. Right. Um, 
so uh, we send in that documentation. They come and they uh, observe classrooms, mm -hmm. interview teachers, interview principals, assistant principals, academic coaches, and then they interview parents. Sure. Uh, and making sure that uh, the documentation that was submitted versus what they see and hear, mm -hmm. everything is aligned. Gotcha. And so they, and then they, um, for Monday night and Tuesday night, um, or after school is out, mm -hmm. they worked at the board office. Gotcha. Um, and they take their data that they've collected mm -hmm. and come up with a exit report. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, get, you know, leave uh, gl uh, glowing remarks and growing remarks. So, <laughs> gotcha. So now, what does that mean for the school system? If you're, uh, what what is what is the end game for accreditation? Uh, well, every five years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our, our school district will mm -hmm. go through the accreditation process and the biggest thing is to get that accreditation stamp of approval gotcha um, any uh, district that's not accredited mm -hmm. um, is a serious implication right. um, you, you never want kids graduating from a non-accredited well I, uh, so, uh, I guess post-secondary schools look at that that's very yes, close yes 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 post-secondary gotcha. yeah, there's serious implications gotcha. um, um, but even um, you know, with with the recommendations they leave, mm -hmm. I um, I feel confident that you know they're going to be pleased uh, with with what they uh, gathered. Fantastic. Um, well, I, I guess they found everything well at Davis. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, good. That, that's good to hear. Well, I know you guys are always active and uh, always uh, the kids are always into yeah. something very good on the mountain. There's no question about that. Yeah. Uh, we just a couple of weeks ago we mm -hmm. had our. Uh, uh, fall festival right. mm -hmm. um, it was on November the 4th mm -hmm. uh, extraordinary turnout okay. um, I don't think uh, there was not a fall festival last year PTO mm -hmm. um, uh, got really involved uh, kicked it in high gear about mm -hmm. the summer um, started soliciting donations um, mm -hmm. and preparing games getting volunteers um, it was uh, a great turnout uh, on a Saturday afternoon and it was beautiful weather right. wasn't hot uh, and it was a good you know it was uh, from 11 to 3 mm -hmm. and, and we've gotten a lot of uh, positive feedback uh, on good. that um, four hours was the perfect amount of time mm -hmm. um, and it it didn't start too early uh, and it didn't last too late there you go. so That's there great. was there was still plenty of time for folks to get home mm -hmm. and watch SEC football so <laughs> absolutely as in, a, in something you have to consider that when oh, you're, when you're scheduling the south. you absolutely yeah. have to <laughs> whether Tennessee Georgia or Alabama are playing at a certain time you've got to work around that oh, exactly. there's, there's no question or all of them at the same time. I think Alabama had the late game uh, that night. Georgia mm -hmm. had the 3.30 game. So. Oh, well, yeah. 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 yeah, there you go. You have to plan around the 3.30 CBS game. There's no question <laughs> about that. Well, uh, let's uh, let's talk about you just a second. I know sure. you were at the high school for a long time, mm -hmm. and now you're at Davis. Mm -hmm. How's that transition been for you? It's been uh, a good transition, good. Uh, okay. uh, personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at, I was at Dade Elementary for, mm -hmm. for three years. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, went to the high school mm -hmm. as, uh, as an assistant for one year and right. then was principal f uh, for seven. Mm -hmm. I love what I do. I mm -hmm. love working with kids no matter the age. Sure. Um, but, you know, I have a son in middle school mm -hmm. uh, who will be in the high school in a couple of years. Uh, it was probably a good, uh, good time for me to start transitioning <laughs> out. I, I understand. I, I, I want I to you. be dad and I don't yep. want to be principal. And not at the same time. Um, yes, right. <laughs> But then I have two younger children mm -hmm. uh, at home as well. My uh, middle one is seven, and our youngest uh, youngest is five. Mm -hmm. uh, and being a high school principal is uh, it's it's an extraordinary uh, position to be I in. I imagine. loved every minute yeah. of it. Um, but in uh, I counted back during the springtime, mm -hmm. um, there were ten different activities going on. Mm -hmm. Not that I had to be at all 10 well. uh, but you know there there still has to be someone responsible right right um and so just just the time commitment mm -hmm. uh being at, at the extracurricular activities sure uh was pulling me away from from my boys absolutely um, yeah and so my wife and i had to sit down and uh you know uh, reevaluate and i had a conversation with dr harris and mr mm -hmm. hooker and mm -hmm. you know they were all on board mr farney uh, was obviously ready to take that next step sure. to, to become the uh, the high school principal. So, so far it's been a uh, a smooth transition for That's me. Good. I'm glad. Uh, I hope it's been a smooth transition for everyone at Davis. <laughs> so. 
Well, by all indications, it seems to have gone okay. Uh, <laughs> knock on wood. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there, this is a real wood table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I'd, I'd, when I'd, I'd left for a while, when I came back, I'd learned that you had uh, y'all had made the swap on that, and I thought, well, I wonder how that's wonder how that's going for everybody. It, it, for me, mm-hmm. uh, it's going well. I know good. from um, Mr. Farney seems uh, uh, pleased. He's uh, got to hire two uh, sure. assistant principals who are and, that, and that's di- great. and that's different for him. Yes, so it is. That's, it that's is a, that's different. And he uh, before he came to Dade, mm-hmm. he was uh, in the high school setting, so right, it's right. not new to him. Right. Uh, so it's it's familiar territory. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know he's doing wonderful things. So Good deal. Good deal. Well, you have some kids uh, here today, and uh, we'll take a break here in just a minute. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's coming up in the rest of the show. Uh, well, we've got some kids uh, that will be coming on. Um, mm-hmm. I'll let them introduce themselves. Sure. And we've got a couple of things that are going to be happening over the next couple of days at Davis Elementary. Okay. Uh, and so I'll, I'll kind of let them uh, guide us through that process. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them is, is partic- in particular the, the Thanksgiving lunch uh, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, all four schools are having their Thanksgiving lunch, so right. uh, it, it's a it's a treat, especially at the elementary level when uh, all the uh, the family, uh, mm-hmm. moms, dads, grandparents, Absolutely. aunts, and uncles. We have a separate serving line set up for mm-hmm. the adults. So cool. I think uh, each uh, it's good food mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. relatively cheap. I think three fifty. Hey, uh, that's you can't beat that. that so, that's a good deal. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we're we're excited about that. Good. So. Good. And you know we look at that as a way to uh, get you know get the community involved mm-hmm. uh, uh, because we all know that it take it takes a village it truly to, does to help raise uh, raise children mm-hmm. so uh, you know you're welcome to uh, you're welcome to come to Davis mm-hmm. uh, any viewers out there you're welcome to come to Davis if not Davis you know we have three other schools uh, take time tomorrow to visit one and or, or Thursday mm-hmm. and, and visit one of the schools and have lunch with uh, with the kids. Very good. Sounds great. Well, we'll uh, meet some of those kids coming up here in just a few moments as our spotlight is on Davis Elementary School this week. Our special guest is Josh Engel. He is, cor- of course, principal. He's going to sit in this seat when we come back, and the kids will be over there. So uh, he gets the hot seat here for the next uh, few minutes on the program. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. We'll be back in just a minute. A time-tested financial institution equipped with the latest banking technology, the Bank of Dade, with mobile banking to fit your on-the-go lifestyle. Download our latest app today for your iPhone, Android, or tablet to bank on the go. Check your balance, pay bills, make deposits, and keep track of your account anytime and anywhere with the Bank of Dade's smartphone app. Make life easier by using today's most advanced banking technology to your advantage. Call us at 657-6842 or visit on the web at bankofdade.com. Your hometown bank since 1956, the Bank of Dade. Main offices on Highway 11 North in Trenton and drive throughs on Highway 11 North and Highway 136 West. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is Roscoe Peak Gold Train. <laughs> oh, and all points bulletin on Cupper Gallery and Kimball. See, they must be up to something there. Their trucks are all over. You just got very suspicious activity. Ooh, I love it, I love it. Possum on a gunbush ship. Uh, Gary and all them just good old boys have a big sale, and they deliver free of charge. Venus, you dipstick. There's no way they're delivering that much furniture. You just, their trucks are everywhere. It's because of their great prices and service, Chef. They have catnap and recliners for $269, new queen mattress. Sets $299. King size mattress sets $399. Memory foam pillows $19.99. Queen size chair slave beds $299. Lift chairs and adjustable beds also on sale. Venus, will you hush? I heard all that. I love it, I love it. Check out Comfort Gallery Mattress. And they having a big sale. They offer free delivery and set up six months, same as cash. Ooh, free one year layaway and even a no credit check payment plan. I love it, I love it. They're open seven days a week and accept most major credit cards. Ooh. Get that next new-to-you car or truck from Cloud Auto Sales in Higdon, Alabama. Right now, check out an 08 Nissan Rogue SL. One owner, real sharp, only $6,995. How about a 2012 Hyundai Sonata GLX? Real nice inside and out and gets great gas mileage. $6,995 with a warranty available. And a 2004 F-150 4.2 V6 5-speed runs and drives great. Only $3,995. See Rayburn Cloud today for these and other deals now at Cloud Auto Sales, Alabama Highway 71 in Higdon. 597-3273 and on Facebook at Cloud Auto Sales. 
The Dade County School System continues to put the safety of students first. That's why the Love the Bus Elementary campaign rolls on. Love the Bus is designed to teach students the importance of safety, respect, and proper bus etiquette. As we continue to enhance efforts of safety for our students, we'd like to have you as part of our team. If you're considering a career as a bus driver, call the Dade County Schools Transportation Department at 706-657-7053 today. Part-time hours with full-time benefits as a bus driver for the Dade County School System. <clears throat> Welcome back to KWN's segment of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. I'm Josh Engel, Principal at Davis Elementary, and I have some of our fantastic students uh, with us on today's segment. I'll start down here on the far end uh, with one of our students. Uh, tell us your name and what grade you're in. Landon Mahan, and I am in fourth grade. My name is Jace Howard. I'm in fourth grade at Del Davis Elementary. And we have? I'm Michaela Chance, and I'm uh, in fifth grade at Davis Elementary. So we have Landon, and we have Jace, and we have Michaela uh, on the show with us today. Uh, it's just a coincidence that all three of you happen to be uh, children of teachers. Um, it was that was a quick you three were the quickest ones that I could get permission from your parents to transport uh, in my car. So. <laughs> Um, so thank you for, for being here uh, with me, helping me out with this show today. Uh, well, you know that uh, Thanksgiving is just around the corner, uh, and tomorrow is a special day uh, at Davis Elementary uh, when we uh, <coughs> celebrate Thanksgiving with Thanksgiving lunch. Are you all excited about that? Yeah. Do you all have anybody coming to eat lunch with you? Yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. Who do, you, who do you think's coming? Uh, I think my mom's coming. I think, I think my mom. mama and papa's coming. You're who? My mom and papa. Mama and Papa, what's you landing? I don't know. You don't know? I bet your mom will eat with you because she's just right down the hall. Um, and then uh, and then next week is, you know, are you all excited about next week? Yes. Why? I'm going to Universal. You're going to Universal Studio? Mm-hmm. So are you looking forward to that? I'm really excited. Good. And what about you, Jace? I get to stay home. You get to stay home. You don't want to come to school? No. Okay. You gonna stay home and sleep? Mm, no. You're not, I'm not sleeping. You're not sleeping. No. What are you gonna do over Thanksgiving break? Stay home and play with my brother. Yeah. What about you, Landon? What are you gonna do? Not with? go to school. Not go to school. Not go to school. And I get you sound excited about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, you know, as we approach this uh, Thanksgiving holiday season. Um, you know, it's a time for uh, for friends and family to to come together and uh, eat turkey, celebrate with one another. But it's also a time to be thankful. Land, thankful, Landon. Uh, could you tell tell the viewers out there one thing that you're you're thankful for? My family. Your family. That's just something great to be thankful for. What about you, Jace? My family and the roof over my head. Your family and the roof over your head. Um, I have to agree with you on that one. And what about you, Miss Michaela? The education I've been blessed with throughout my life. The education you've been blessed with throughout your life. And I bet your family has been there to support you mm -hmm. while receiving that education. Yep. Those are great things. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful I'm thankful to be able to work with children just like you. So okay. I love my job. I love what I do. I look forward to coming to work every day. Um, so all of you... Uh, are in chorus uh, at Davis Elementary. <coughs> how, Landon, how long have you been in chorus? Uh, two years. Two years. This is what awesome. about you, Jace? Two years. Two years. <coughs> and Michaela? Three years. Three years. Uh, well, there's something special uh, that's going to be happening very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, on Friday of this week. Yeah. What, what is it, uh, Jace? <laughs> We're going to Dollywood for chorus. Going to Dollywood for chorus. All right. Well, you know, this is my first year at Davis Elementary, and this will be my first experience with Dollywood. Mm -hmm. So tell me uh, what, what I might expect on this trip. Go ahead, Jace. It'll probably be very crowded. Very crowded. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you think it'll be fun? It's yeah. a lot of fun. I mean, I know listening to y'all sing is going to be fun, so am I just going to go up there, listen to y'all sing, and then we're going to turn around and come back? Uh, no, we're 
we're going to sing and then we're going into the park because we sing outside of the gates and then we're going into the park and uh, we're staying until like eight o'clock. So what happens in the park? I've, I've never been to Dollywood. Really? Well, maybe when I was in third grade. <laughs> so I'm an old man now. So I, I've forgotten. So um, what's so special about Dollywood? Well, well one of the reasons is that it has uh, it has the fastest wooden roller coaster no in the world. Yeah. So what is it? What's the name? The of lightning it? rod. And uh, I think it's the first wooden launched roller coaster. Yeah, I think ever. so. So if I stand up beside that uh, sign that says you must be this tall to ride, do you think I'll meet the criteria? No. If I can, I, I think you will. Jay says I won't. If I can, I'm pretty sure you okay. can. I just use yeah. bungee okay, So do you, is it nervous? Yeah. Um, nervous? Yeah. I, at I the got beginning. nervous. I got nervous at the beginning, but like it's not that bad. Like mm -hmm. I screamed. Like I couldn't scream because I was so scared. <laughs> um. When when. You're just sitting there when you first are sit when it's first starting. When you turn around the corner, you're like this. But when you go up, seventy it's, miles per hour, yeah, all the way around. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's really, really fast. fast. That's it. Around the end, it'll go like that, uh -huh. and yeah, then a go. big loop around, and you'll turn completely yeah, on your side and come right down there. Like, yeah, like, breaks, like it's like the mystery them. mine where you come out and uh -huh. yeah. like you go around a loop and you twist. At the same time, that and then you go back in. It's a lot of fun. It is. I'm looking fast. forward to that. <laughs> I say we just skip school and head on up there. I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Except I'll be here. I half think the day. moms might get mad at me. <laughs> no. Uh, Man, so we when, won't tell when we get to, uh, yeah, we won't tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Break when we get to Dollywood, you all, uh, y'all, you all will perform some songs outside the gate. Yeah. Uh, how many songs will you be singing? Four. Okay, four, four songs. Uh, and after those four, that's when. Um, uh, the, all the students and parents that go will get uh, get to go in the park. About how many students are in the Davis course? Uh, 115. Really? 115. Yeah. Oh, wow. And we got last year was in the school. 115 kids. And three hundred and fifty. Yeah, in the but school. a lot of people. And aren't it's coming, only though. third, fourth, and yeah, fifth. it's great. Uh, third, there's fourth, a lot. Fifth. There's a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. it, <clears throat> the classroom's really small. <laughs> Very yeah, small. Class, I've, I've yeah. been in the classroom. It is, it is jam-packed. Yeah, uh, it is. It gets kind of warm. It gets kind of warm even when it's cold outside. Oh, yes, yeah. it does. Jay well, well I'm, I'm extremely excited about uh, going on this trip with you all. Uh, it's been a while since I've been, a ro been on a roller coaster, <laughs> so uh, uh, I guess I will eat lightly <laughs> uh, so that I don't get sick. Uh, and perhaps I might get to ride one of the roller coaster rides with one of y'all yeah. or with, with another student. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break, uh, and then we'll be back uh, for today's segment of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. Dobbins Supermarket, serving the community for over 70 years with fresh cut meats and a full line of grocery items. Dobbins Supermarket, Highway 71 in Higdon. It's Thanksgiving time at Dobbins. Now through Thanksgiving, find Sugardale whole smoked hams just $1.59 a pound. Rally chicken fingers, five pound bag, $6.99. Split chicken breast, $1.29 a pound. Sugardale ham, $1.29 a shank, $1.49 bump. Two liter Coke products, just a dollar. And sure fine dinner rolls, 12 count, 99 cents each. Happy Thanksgiving from Dobbins Supermarket in Higdon. Folks, don't miss the annual Christmas concert at Rising Fawn Baptist Church. Mark your calendars for Sunday, December 3rd and Sunday, December 10th at 7 o'clock each night. Pastor Tommy Crider and the congregation of Rising Fawn Baptist Church wish to celebrate with you the birth of Jesus Christ at the annual Christmas concert at Rising Fawn Baptist Church. Sunday, December 3rd and Sunday, December 10th, 7 o'clock each evening. Rising Fawn Baptist Church is at 4411 Highway 11 South in Rising Fawn. Can you gig it? Oh, yes, you can. We know you've been waiting for a long time, and now Tennessee Valley Net is bringing it to you. Gigabit Internet Service, now available in certain areas of Dade County. Not just fast, super fast Internet Service, now available from Tennessee Valley Net. People are talking, I mean really smiling, about gig speed Internet, available in limited areas from Tennessee Valley Net. Call today at 706-657-4367 or log on at tvn.net and see if gig speed is available where you are. We know you'll gig it from Tennessee Valley Net. 
Looking for a great way to change your look? You'll find the friendly professionals at a Classy Cut Salon ready to care for you. A Classy Cut Salon is in the Gross Shopping Center next to the Dollar General. We serve men and women of all ages at a Classy Cut Salon. Call 657-5607. That's 657-5607 for an appointment. Or just walk right in for your next Classy Cut from a Classy Cut Salon in the Gross Shopping Center, Highway 11 North in Trenton. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and Guthrie's is ready to help you plan your feast. Wing platters, tender platters, minis platters, along with salad, baked beans, potato salad, rolls, and tea, all available for your Thanksgiving feast from Guthrie's. And don't forget your regular daily lunch special, five tenders, fries, Texas toast, sauce, and a drink for only $7.19. Reserve the free party room for your holiday gatherings now at Guthrie's, Highway 136 West, just off I-59 in Trenton. And visit Guthrie's in Ringgold off Alabama Highway next to the food line. Welcome back to KWN's segment of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. Uh, I'm Josh Engel, principal at Davis Elementary. And again, we have, starting on, my far, on the far end, we have... Landon Mahan. Landon Mahan. Jace Howard. Jace Howard. Michaela Chance. And Michaela Chance. Two fourth graders and a fifth grader fifth grader at Davis Elementary that are, who are fantastic students. Um, they all are in chorus, and they do an excellent job in chorus. <laughs> and they're also excellent kids in the classroom. Well, we've been talking about the Dollywood trip that's coming up uh, this week, and once we uh, uh, return from Dollywood and after Thanksgiving break, before you know it, we're going to be on another, not another break. Yeah. We'll be on Christmas break. Uh, but before uh, we break for uh, the holidays, uh, I think on December the 8th, uh, the Davis course will be, uh, be in action uh, in, in concert. Uh, December the 8th, uh, there's a uh, Christmas concert at 2 o'clock, and then there's another uh, concert at 6 o'clock. What, what's, uh, what's that going to be like? Um, it's always a lot of fun. So what, describe, why is it fun? Um, we do a lot of, a lot of really hap happy, upbeat songs, and there's a lot of dancing and moving around. It's just a really something really to enjoy. I remember when I was little and I always wanted to be in chorus because it looked so much fun. Yeah. So there's, but there's a showtime there's a showtime at two o'clock and then a showtime at six o'clock. What's what's the why why are there two shows? What's different? Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Jace. You don't have to raise your hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just so used to it. Sorry. Okay. The two o'clock one is when we're in school and some people don't get to come at at, at the second concert because the second concert is parents and stuff. So uh, the like two o'clock show is mainly for that's when the whole school kind of yeah. goes in the gym, yeah. you know, uh -huh. perform for the school, and yeah. then the six o'clock is more for parents. Yeah, yeah. after they for get off work. Parents in the public. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, so the Davis Chorus will be in action on December the eighth at two p.m. and six p.m. Uh, and then on uh, Saturday, December the 9th, um, at Dade County High School, uh, they will be there to perform to kick off uh, uh, the Dade uh, Discount Days. Mm -hmm. um, so they've got a lot of uh, exciting opportunities to come up, uh, coming up uh, where they can show, uh, showcase their talents. Uh, they, they may even go caroling uh, yeah. at, at the nursing home or, or some other places. We're going to be here. Uh, going to be here yeah. at KWN, uh, uh, sh showing uh, showing off your talent. So, yeah. I am uh, extremely uh, looking forward to hearing you all, hearing uh, y'all uh, perform your Christmas music. I love Christmas music, uh, so I'm excited to hear. But more importantly, I'm excited to watch you all and the kids uh, perform. Uh, that, that makes uh, makes my days uh, much happier uh, seeing kids in action. So. Was there anything you'd like the viewers to know before we uh, go off air here? Hello, hi. class. <laughs> hi, people of the world. You say hi to mom and dad. Hey, hey mom and dad. Mom. Hey, 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 buddies in class. I know you're probably watching this because my mom has it on. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. As you can see, you know why I look forward to my job. I get to <coughs> get to work with these kids. Uh, but again, th uh, thank you for tuning in to this segment of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. Uh, tune in next week. Uh, I'm not sure who will be here, uh, but I hope Dr. Harris will be the host. Thank you.